Oh, hello. My name is Mara and welcome to Books Like Woe. So, as promised last year uh, in my Penguin Clothbound Classics video and this year in my bookshelf tour, today we are doing a full bookshelf tour of all of my classics, with the exception of my Agatha Christie classics, because by the time you're seeing this, you have already seen an updated Agatha Christie collection video. So these are all of my classics, um, and I am going to have timestamps below in the description box so you can skip ahead for specific collections you're looking to see or any specific discussions that you might be interested in. So definitely feel free to use the time references below. And without further ado, let me get into the first little section I want to do, which is talking through which uh, classics edition is right for you and some caveats or warnings about particular editions. So first of all, one of the main comments that I get whenever people are looking at my Penguin Clothbound classics is I get a lot of comments about people who are not thrilled with quality on them or asking about what what the quality on them is like. So the common things that I see people mentioning on Penguin Clothbound Classics are that the pages do not stay in well and that the design on the cover, so something, you know, so like this piece fades quickly over time. Those are the main things I see. Uh, and you know, these pages are glued in, so they are not sewn in. So that means there's always, uh, you know, the best quality ones will always have the pages actually sewn in. I hear that. I will tell you from my personal experience, I have not had problems with these books falling apart, even when I've read them, like when I've actually used them as my reading copy, and I have not noticed any noticeable fading on any of them as they've come in and out of my bookshelves. That has not been my experience. I have seen enough comments that I would like to bring that to your attention if you are considering uh, investing in these editions that some people do have quality issues with them. So I just wanna put that out there. You don't need to leave a comment about it. I'm telling people right now. Some people are really unhappy with the quality here. That has not been my personal experience. Therefore, I feel comfortable continuing to recommend these and I love them. So of course I display them proudly, I enjoy them, but just know that that is something that people have very strong feelings about and is a sort of buyer beware kind of thing. The next question that I often get from people uh, when they are looking at my different editions is asking which one I recommend to them. So I guess my feedback would be, it depends on what your goal is. So you should know that I am somebody who tends to be a pretty, I handle my books very gingerly. That is probably because I've always been somebody who takes books to be resold at the used bookstore. So I don't crack my spines in general, unless like it was for a class and I really had to like get in there and mark it up. And I, I tend, you know, I'm somebody for instance, on, on a book that has a uh, dust jacket, I read with the dust jacket on. I read this one in fact with the dust jacket on and I don't think you can really tell that much probably. So just know I'm somebody who who personally, I, I'm pretty gentle on my books and so that might skew what my thoughts are here. So here's what I would tell you. If you are looking for a book that is aesthetically, like one of the primary reasons you're collecting it is for the aesthetics. Because realistically guys, my preferred method to read classics at this point is on my e-reader. Like I will read it for Physically, if I have it physically, but in general, I really like reading on an e-reader and that'd probably be what my recommendation would be if you're really like worried about the way something is gonna look on your shelf. But in terms of hardback editions, the two main ones I collect are the Penguin Clothbound Classics and the Everyman's Library Collection. I These are both examples of books that I have physically read from. So, you know, do with that what you will in terms of, you know, it, they, I don't think look like they've been harshly abused and they seem to have held up to me reading both of them. I will tell you that if you are somebody who tends to be a little harder on books, I would recommend the Everyman's Library Edition over the Penguin Clothbound. I personally prefer the aesthetics of the Penguin Clothbound. Like I love the way that they look, but I also love the way that these red spines look. That is also beautiful to me. Um, so I don't think that it's like some horrible thing to have to get these editions because also the front, I mean, they're beautiful books still. Uh, and I do think that they are sturdier. Just to be totally honest with you, I think the way the pages are in there is better if you can see the difference between how the pages are adhered they are I think I, I just think Everyman's Library in general is a sturdier edition I also do find that often the footnotes in the Everyman's Library editions are a little bit better so if you if one of the primary things you are doing is not just collecting for the aesthetics on your shelf but you are also collecting because you are going to be actively reading and engaging with the books I probably would recommend Everyman's Library over Penguin Clothbound Classic I personally prefer Penguin Clothbound Classics aesthetic. And I mean, I am a Horley Bigford Smith fangirl. So at the end of the day, I prefer these, but I, if I get who would prefer this, like I, I get that. That would be my first comparison point. But I would tell you if that, if you are not primarily concerned with the 
collection piece of this or the aesthetic. Like if you're really getting a book that you wanna be able to like write in, mark up, like take out without worrying about it, just getting totally destroyed and having spent all this money on a book, I would recommend getting a paperback edition, honestly. Cause I think that, so I really love the way the orange spine and the black spine Penguin Classics look on the shelf. Um, you guys will see those at some point. I think that they look really nice, but I, I also think that these, like this is my preferred um, paperback edition, I should say, the Oxford World's Classics. I like the footnotes and stuff in these the best. And I think that they wear pretty nicely. So this would probably be my preferred paperback edition for a classic, but really any of those I just mentioned would do just fine. So if you are primarily looking for something you're not worried about being up, just don't worry about the hardback version. Go straight for the, the paperback. There are plenty of great paperback editions. Um, so those that's basically the summary of my thoughts on uh, which classics collection edition is right for you if you are trying to decide which one to go with. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna start by showing you an overall shot of my main classics bookshelves, which I am sitting in front of right now. I'm gonna back you guys up so that you can see the full shelf. I do have some sprinkled throughout the rest of my home, but this is the kind of main action. So let's take a look at the shelves overall. Okay, so to kick things off, let's start by just kind of giving a lay of the land of where most of my classics live, which is out here on these three bookshelves. So roughly I have these in order or kind of organized by edition. Um, so up in the top, well, I should also mention that I also have these organized by weight, which is something you should always take into account when you are loading up your bookshelves. So I have my lighter editions up at the tops. On the top shelf of each of the three bookcases are some of my smaller editions. So going from left to right, I have my Pulp the Classics. Then I have my Macmillan Collector's Library editions. Then I have my Penguin Clothbound Classic Poetry classics editions, then I have my Penguin Clothbound Classics Poetry editions. The middle top shelf is all of my Agatha Christie facsimile editions, which will be in a different video, not in this one. And then I have my Every Man's Library Pocket Poets editions. Uh, then we have the Borrego Modern Classics editions. And finally on the top shelves, we have my Orange Spined Penguin Classics. Uh, most of those you won't be seeing in this one just because they're not really classics. They just all are in that edition and they look nice. And then in the middle two shelves, uh, you can see all of my Penguin Clothbound Classics. And then I also have Face Out a couple of Agatha Christie editions, which again, we'll talk about in a different video. Uh, on the second from the bottom shelves, we'll go from left to right again. So I have basically on the left side, various classics editions, pretty much just sort of a hodgepodge over there. In the middle, second to bottom, shelf are all of my red spined every man's library editions and then on the right shelf you can see uh, a couple of random ones but mostly my penguin drop cap editions and my puffin in bloom editions and then on the bottom shelf, I have my Library of America editions, then are the black spined every man's library editions. The middle bottom shelf are all of my Bantam faux leather Agatha Christie collection, which is in a different video. And then on the bottom right shelf are all of my books about Agatha Christie plus a nice edition of Sherlock Holmes, The Complete Stories. So that is an overview of where things mostly live. You will be seeing some other books come into this that live in different parts of my house. Mostly they are random one-off ones or paperback editions or just a couple of other different editions. So not everything is out here, but these are the majority of what I have in my classics collection right now um, are out on these bookshelves. A Confederacy of Dunces, John Kennedy Toole, Jude the Obscure, Thomas Hardy, Wuthering Heights, Emily Bronte, Leagues Under the Sea, Jules Verne, Emma, Jane Austen, The Day of the Triffids, John Wyndham, The Odyssey, Homer. This is my second favorite cover in the collection. The Sonnets and A Lover's Complaint, William Shakespeare, Tales from 1001 Nights, The Travels, Marco Polo, Northanger Abbey, Jane Austen, Lady Chatterley's Lover, D. H. Lawrence, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe, The Jungle Books by Rudyard Kipling, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, The War of the Worlds by H. G. Wells, Wide Sargasso Sea by Jean Rhys, the Pearl by John Steinbeck. The Hound of the Baskervilles by Arthur Conan Doyle. Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Moby Dick 
by Herman Melville, Dracula by Bram Stoker, Villette by Charlotte Bronte, Hard Times by Charles Dickens, David Copperfield by Charles Dickens, Remembrance of Things Past, Volume 2 by Marcel Proust, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Love and Friendship and Other Youthful Writings by Jane Austen. This is the edition that has that famous misspelling of friendship, which now that I've pointed it out to you, you will never be able to unsee, just as I now am never able to unsee it after someone pointed it out to me. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, The Portrait of a Lady by Henry James, The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins, The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas, Metamorphosis by Ovid, Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky, I should note that I have the charcoal gray background, but there is also an addition with the cream background that I would love to get my grubby little hands on. Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert. Sanditon by Jane Austen. This is my third favorite cover in this series and is the most recent release. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. The Iliad by Homer. Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell. The Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy. Inferno by Dante. Far from the Matting Crowd by Thomas Hardy. Bride's Head Revisited by Evelyn Waugh. Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes. And this is my current favorite cover in the series. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. Orlando by Virginia Woolf. A Christmas Carol and Other Christmas Writings by Charles Dickens. Persuasion by Jane Austen. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Naked Lunch by William S. Burroughs. Remembrance of Things Past, Volume 3 by Marcel Proust. Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Tess of the D'Urbervilles by Thomas Hardy. The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, Bleak House by Charles Dickens, Paradise Lost by John Milton, The Ring of the Nibelung by Richard Wagner, Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll, Remembrance of Things Past, Volume 1, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle, and finally, Middlemarch by George Eliot. Next up, we are going to do my Penguin Clothbound Classic Philosophy Edition. So you will notice that in this series of, uh, of the Clothbound Classics, that there is this sort of two-toned quality to every single one of the editions. Before I bought these, I wondered if that was a function of just photography of pictures I was seeing of them or, or what it was. I do just want you guys to know that there is, uh, in the top third, a slightly different coloration than the bottom third. I think I've seen Coralie Bickford Smith mention that she probably wouldn't do that again if she was going back. And I don't know if they will have that um, in the future editions. There's going to be some new ones coming out in January or I think actually February of 2020. So I'm not sure if those will have that quality, but the ones that have been published today do have that uh, as part of their design. So we'll start here with the Communist Manifesto by Karl Marx and Frederick Engels. Essays and Aphorisms by Arthur Schopenhauer. Beyond Good and Evil by Frederick Nietzsche. Confessions by Saint Augustine. Civilization and Its Discontents by Sigmund Freud. Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Fear and Trembling by Soren Kierkegaard. The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Letters from a Stoic by Seneca. The Prince by Niccolo Machiavelli. A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. The next and I think the final collection you're seeing for the Penguin Clothbound Classics is the Penguin Clothbound Classics Poetry Editions. So we will start at the top and work our way down. Songs of Innocence and Experience by William Blake. La Mia, Isabella, The Eve of St. Agnes and Other Poems by John Keats. The Lyrical Ballads by William Wordsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge. The Tower by W.B. Yeats, and this is probably my favorite cover in this collection. Goblin Market and Other Poems by Christina Rossetti. Poems by Wilfred Owen, and this is my second favorite cover in the collection. Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. The Temple 
by George Herbert. Next, I have three entries in the Macmillan, in the Macmillan Collector's Library series. The Third Man and Other Stories by Graham Greene. The Ministry of Fear by Graham Greene. North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. And I apologize, guys, just trying to get the light right here. This is gold text, and then you can also see that there are gold edges on this edition, but I know that a little washed out in this lighting. Next, we have my Pulp the Classics uh, series, which there's not very many of them, but this is a series of classics that take inspiration from the kind of pulpy covers of the uh, early part of the 20th century. So I have four of those. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Three Men in a Boat by Jerome K. Jerome. And I sincerely hope that is a pen name, as otherwise his mother hated him. I have three editions uh, from the Library of America, so we will run through these. Collected Stories and Other Writings by Catherine Porter. Wise Blood, A Good Man is Hard to Find. The Violent Bear It Away, Everything That Rises Must Converge, and Essays and Letters by Flannery O'Connor. The Lottery, The Haunting of Hill House, We Have Always Lived in the Castle, and Other Stories and Sketches by Shirley Jackson. Okay, so now we're looking at my Everyman's Library Classics uh, collection, and I have a lot of Red Spines. Those are my preferred editions, which is what we're looking at right now, but I will also show you the ones that I have in the Black Spine. F. Scott Fitzgerald, The Side of Paradise, The Remains of the Day by Kazu Ishiguro, Dubliners by James Joyce, Possession by A.S. Byatt, A Room with a View, and Where Angels Fear to Tread by E. M. Forster, The Everyman Chesterton by G. K. Chesterton, The Maltese Falcon, The Thin Man, and Red Harvest by Dashiell Hammett, The Best of Wodehouse, an anthology by P. G. Wodehouse, The Human Factor by Graham Greene, The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie, The Girls of Slender Means, The Driver's Seat, and The Only Problem by Muriel Spark, The Bloody Chamber, Wise Children and Fireworks by Angela Carter, Howard's End by E. M. Forster, The Stranger by Albert Camus, The Good Soldier by Ford Maddox Ford, To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf, Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf, One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich by Alexander Solzhenitsyn, Panin by Vladimir Nabokov, The Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco, Animal Farm by George Orwell, Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe, Essays by George Orwell. So then moving into the black spine, so they all look like this from when they are facing out on the shelf. First we have Agnes Grey and The Tenet of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte, The Divine Comedy, which is Inferno, Purgatorio, and Paradiso, by Dante Alighieri, The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton. Here we have an example of what some of the older ones look like in this line. So this one is Candide and Other Stories from Voltaire, The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo, Shirley and the Professor by Charlotte Bronte, Plays, Prose Writings, and Poems by Oscar Wilde, Les Liaisons Dangereuses by Chaudelot de Laclos, The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins, and this is probably my favorite cover in either the black or the red spine lines. The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky, The House of Mirth by Edith Wharton, and finally The Double and the Gambler by Fyodor Dostoevsky. So now we have my Picador Modern Classics. There are four of them. Slouching Towards Bethlehem by Joan Didion. Housekeeping by Marilyn Robinson. Nickel and Dimed by Barbara Ehrenreich. Regarding the Pain of Others by Susan Sontag. Next we have my uh, British Crime Library slash Poison Pen editions, depending on if they are published in the UK or the US. They have slightly different publishers, but they are all the same line of Golden Age of Detective Fiction authors and their you know, most notable titles. Mystery in White by J. Jefferson Farjon. Seven Dead by J. Jefferson Farjon. Murder at the Manor, edited by Martin Edwards. Thirteen Guests by J. Jefferson Farjon. The Santa Claus Murder by Mavis Dorel Hay. The Cheltenham Square Murder by John Bood. Portrait of a Murderer 
A Christmas Crime Story by Anne Meredith. And then I have four of the Penguin Drop Caps editions. Uh, I don't necessarily see myself getting a ton more of these, but just know that there are, well, I guess it'd be 26 of them because there's one for each letter of the alphabet. The Greek Coffin Mystery by Ellery Queen. A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce. An Artist of the Floating World by Kazu Ishiguro. Lord of the Flies by William Golding. Then I have the four Puffin and Bloom editions. A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. Heidi by Joanna Speary, which is the book that got me into reading, so it is also very precious to my heart. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I have three remaining Black Spine Paperback Penguin Classics. Uh, as you guys probably know, my preference is for the hardbacks, but I do have these three paperbacks left in my collection. Revelations of Divine Love by Julian of Norwich. Eichmann in Jerusalem, A Report on the Banality of Evil by Hannah Arendt. Loving, Living, and Party Going by Henry Green. Then I have almost the entire collection of Rego Modern Classics that they released as a part of their 40th anniversary Anniversary. The only one I do not have is Nora Ephron's Heartburn, and that is because I already own that in a different edition. So at the time, I didn't want to get it. My completion self is thinking maybe I need to do that. We will see. Fire from Heaven by Mary Renault. Frost in May by Antonia White. Memento Mori by Muriel Spark. Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neal Hurston. The Magic Toy Shop by Angela Carter. Faces in the Water by Janet Frame. The Weather in the Streets by Rosamond Lehman. The Collected Stories by Grace Paley. A View of the Harbor by Elizabeth Taylor, though not that Elizabeth Taylor. Deep Water by Patricia Highsmith. The Return of the Soldier by Rebecca West. The Dud Avocado by Elaine Dundee. And then I have started building my Everyman's Library Pocket Poets uh, collection. This is one I'm actively building right now as I see them go on sale, etc. Uh, so we'll run through these. But first of all, just, I wanted to show you the spines because I that's probably my favorite part of these is the cool spines each edition has. The Four Seasons by Various Poets. The Poems of Emily Dickinson. The Poems of T.S. Eliot. Poems Bewitched and Haunted. War Poems. The Poems of Samuel Taylor Coleridge. The Poems of Alexander Pope. The Poems of W.H. Auden. The Poems of John Donne. Killer Verse. Poems of Murder and Mayhem by Various Poets. Okay, so we're now in the random classics uh, arena of this video. So first we'll do some Salinger. So first we have The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Franny and Zooey by J.D. Salinger. Raise High the Roof Beams, Carpenters, and Seymour, an Introduction by J.D. Salinger. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The Power and the Glory by Graham Greene. The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. Maurice by E.M. Forster. I will mention that I think that the British pronunciation of this is Morris, and I just can't get myself there. So for me, this is Maurice. The Warden by Anthony Trollope. Barchester Towers by Anthony Trollope. Uh, and I will mention that those two Anthony Trollopes are both an edition by Penguin Classics from the UK. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And I just wanted to note that this particular edition is designed by Coralie Bigford Smith, who is also the designer of the Penguin Clothbound Classics. Castle Rack Rent by Maria Edgeworth. The major works, including all the poems and select prose by Gerard Manley Hopkins. I keep this one primarily for those selected prose passages. The Heart is a Lonely Hunter by Carson McCullers. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. And this is an edition given to me by my grandmother, so this is one is very sentimentally precious to me. Yalala Dean by Rafi. Tis Pity She's a Whore by John Ford. Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Uh, this has got a nice drop case on it. And then, let's see, cloth bound hardback inside. Okay, so that was a journey. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my classics turned out and, you know, 
what they look like, which ones I have. That is a complete collection of the Penguin Clothbound Classics that are in print currently. So I have some, I don't have some of the ones that are out of print, but I have all the ones that are currently being produced. And then a lot of, a lot of other editions that I enjoy collecting and love. Speaking of enjoying collecting and building a collection, I do want to mention for those of you who stayed to the bitter end that I am running a giveaway on Instagram. When you guys are seeing this, it probably is live should be. Uh, I will post it that evening. Um, so I'm giving away a copy of Sanditon, which is the latest entry into the Penguin Clothbound Classics uh, family. So this will be in the giveaway as well as another literary fiction book, just a paperback, enjoyable, something that somebody hopefully, if you like classics, you probably like literary fiction in general. So two books in that giveaway. I will be running it on Instagram. All the rules and stuff will be there. I just prefer running these things through Instagram. It's a lot easier. I will warn you that I like this one doesn't go to the post office during Christmas season. So will not go out until after Christmas. <laughs> but um, but aside from that, uh, I just wanted to say thank you because I really enjoy the engagement I get on posts on Instagram and here where I'm talking about my classics. I enjoy fellow book nerds who really just enjoy the collection aspect of being a book lover. Just a way to say thank you and share my love of that particular edition with you guys. So uh, definitely feel free to check that out on Instagram. So I think that will do it for my 2019 classics collection book tour. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what your favorite one was down in the comments below. And I think that that will do it for today. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social meds if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below. And I think that that will do it. I hope you guys are having an absolutely lovely day and I will just talk to you soon. Bye.